morning, everybody. That's an empty trailer. Yesterday we were parked right here with a loaded trailer. Funny how that happens. yesterday's video uh, the United States is pretty much closed down for the rest of the week for 4th of July celebrations as they should be hope you guys had fun we're going to be uh, staying up in Canada during that where uh, businesses are still open and people are still accepting freight because no one's gonna be open to accept freight or ship freight down here I kind of wish that I could stay down here for the 4th of July. It looks like a lot of fun. I've, I've spent a couple of 4th of Julys in the US before. They take it very seriously, very serious, and it's awesome. Even now, I'm seeing everybody pulling their boats down the road, their campers. Everybody's getting ready to barbecue and celebrate. I gotta keep working though, so I'm gonna go back up north try to make a few more bucks this week. Uh oh, what's going on over here? Continue on this road for 35 kilometers. I can't get over, so I'm just gonna creep past here. Oh, well, an ambulance coming too. I wonder if he's going to that same. Right. 
to stop in Grand Forks, North Dakota, Flying J fuel up there. It is the cheapest fuel on my route today. I could go to Fargo, it's one cent cheaper per gallon, but it wouldn't be worth my fuel to go that little bit out of my way just for one cent a gallon. I'm at half tanks right now, so I'm probably gonna fuel up for, oh, 80 to 100 gallons, so what, a dollar? I'll just go fuel in Grand Forks, use my point card, uh, swipe that so that I get a free shower. Then we're gonna go up to Headingley, Manitoba to the Flying J there in Canada. And stay there the night and I'll grab my shower there. That's the plan. When you fuel up at most truck stops, for those of you who are not on the road, when you fuel up at most truck stops, if you use your point card when you fuel up, you get a free shower. Otherwise they cost anywhere between 15 and $20 a shower. Why would I pay if I can get one for free? Yeah, yeah. 
I'm fueled up, old blues fueled up. I can't barely talk. Next stop is Canada. Super long lineup here at the border. It's all the way back to gas tracks, so that means it's a mile long. I'm not sure why. I'm sure we'll find out as we get to the front of this line, but I'm thinking they're on strike again, right? That's the only thing I can think of. They only got one window open. We got these guys at duty free. They're swinging past the whole lineup to go into duty free and what they're hoping, I know what they're thinking, what they're hoping is that once they get their stuff out of duty free, they're gonna be able to cut into the front of the line. Hopefully nobody lets them in. But you know, there'll be somebody out there with a soft heart. Oh, I'll let you in. So they just got to cut in front of a mile long traffic jam and they used their duty-free purchase as an excuse. You guys ever seen that out there? I see that. When there's lineups like this, I see that all the time. They'll always try to cut in front. The smart guys, what they'll do is they'll go get their duty-free or whatever, and then they'll sit there and park and wait for their spot in line to catch up with them, and then they'll go back into the same spot where they were before. But usually you wait until the lineup gets to duty-free, you turn off, go into duty free, get your stuff, and then get back into line so that you're not cutting in front of people, right? But not everybody has this sense of courtesy and decency that we do. Because I know that's what we all would do. There's some people that'll take any chance they can to cut in front of this lineup and save themselves a half hour wait. Bunch of goofballs, right? YouTube safe language here, bunch of goofballs. You can replace that word with any that you choose in your own mind there. I have to keep it safe here for YouTube. Family channel, goofballs. I've been sitting here for 40 minutes now. Looks like we got about another half hour in front of us at least. Be over an hour. I just wanna go home. I wanna go back to my own land, my own native land. Where I belong. I wonder what's happening. Is it that strike? Like, we don't really know. Oh, oh, we're moving. We're moving. There's some action. <laughs> you see, there's a guy there. I don't know if you can see him in duty free there or not, but there's a guy who pulled in in front of them and is now making them wait until uh, their spot in line comes that they can't cut in front of everybody. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. I hope that's what he's doing anyway. I don't know. Don't cut the line, people. We're all in a rush. Not just you. What's funny is I've heard some guys on the CV already calling them out. <laughs> some guy came on the CV. He's like, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Nobody let them in. There'll be someone who'll let them in. There's always a sucker feels bad for them, I'm gonna let them in. <laughs> oh, we're moving again. It's not that bad, it's not like we're at a standstill. We're, it's a steady crawl. But we're crawling at like one mile an hour for the past mile. Uh, that would make sense, that'd be about an hour. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, they opened another lane now. There's two open now, so maybe it's not a strike. Maybe they're just short on employees. You know, with the state of the economy and with the price of food and the price of uh, life, how everything has skyrocketed and shot up in Canada, I wouldn't be surprised if they deserve a hefty raise here. I heard guys talking about it on the CB here too as I was listening in, talking about we didn't know if it was a strike or not, or they didn't know, the guys who were talking. But, uh, I felt like I was part of the conversation because I was here listening. But, you know, it's... Some people think that, you know, they don't deserve a raise, they want more than they're worth, and other people are saying that, well, with the state of what, you know, has been done to our country in the last eight years, and the state of the country and expenses, the living costs, yeah, they probably do need a raise. I mean, they, uh, they all have to renew their mortgages sooner or later, and unlike in the U.S., we don't have fixed lifetime mortgages like in the U.S., in Canada, you can only fix your mortgage rate for five years, and then you have to renew. Well, after five years now, interest rates have skyrocketed, so people's mortgage payments have like doubled. In some cases, at least shot up dramatically in most cases when they renew. So uh, 
with that, uh, wages haven't gone up, right? The cost of living, interest rates going up, uh, wages haven't gone up for a lot of people. So I wouldn't be surprised, you know, there's strikes all over the place that people just, you know, they just want their wages to go up in accordance with the cost of living. It's just a never ending snowballing cycle though. You know, it's, you raise the wages, but then you raise inflation. And raise inflation, then you have to raise the wages. And it just keeps going, 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 going. It's just a big mess right now. I know they say it's a global problem, but uh, it's hitting pretty hard here in Canada for a lot of people. A lot of people find it very hard to get by. Things are very expensive, very expensive. So if they are on strike, you know, I kind of understand, I kind of understand why. They just need to feed their families and keep paying their mortgage that's gone up. Everything's broken. I'm free, I'm free. That was over an hour away, about an hour and 15 minutes across the border. Oh, we got a buck splat right in front of your lens too. Eh, I've probably been there a while. Over 200 meters, keep to the left on. Fort Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. So now we gotta go switch trailers yet. Continue to block this road for 15 kilometers. Switch trailers and then run over to Flying J so I can have a shower. A little later than I expected now. Hoping to have a bit more time. But we're still doing all right. What a day. Got a roll tight behind me now. 53 foot, tri-axle. I'm gonna be loading up some heavy stuff tomorrow. Got uh, a bunch of local deliveries to around Manitoba. I told you this already, sorry I'm repeating myself again. You guys already know what I'm doing. And this is the trailer I'm doing it with. So I won't repeat myself again. And there's the door. I gotta go in first thing in the morning. <clears throat> so I am right here. They wanted me here first thing. So here I am. I'm going to sleep right here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Appreciate it. We started off in Brainerd, Minnesota. We got unloaded. Uh, we came up through Fargo of I-29, went to our yard, switched out our 53-foot step for a 53-foot flat roll tight or Conestoga covered wagon. And this is going to be our friend for tomorrow. I believe I've got five drops around the Winkler area in southern Manitoba tomorrow. So we'll start from here. I'm in Headingley, just west of Winnipeg. Go straight south. I believe I start off in Winkler, two drops, Morden. Or maybe I start off in Morden and two drops in Winkler, one in Plum Coulee, and one in Sperling? Or is it Sterling? Sperling, Sterling? Manitoba, that's the last one. So Morden, Winkler, Plum Coulee, Sperling, or Sterling. And that'll be my five drops for tomorrow. And then, by the sounds of it, they, it sounded like I had another one to do the next day, which would be Friday. But we'll wait and see. So I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. It's free. And to leave me a comment down below, it's also free. Helps me out a lot. Helps with the algorithm. Go start some conversations down there and reply to some comments. Just be respectful to everybody. That's all I ask. If you want to take it one step further, if you really like my videos and want to follow my life, I've been doing this for about 13 years every day, you can click the Join Now button. And for like the price of a Starbucks coffee a month, you can uh, get early access to all my videos. Thank you to all the members already. I believe there's about 140 of you right now. Somewhere in there. 130, 140, somewhere in there. Thank you all uh, very much. I hope you guys are enjoying the early access. You also get a special uh, special tab right beside your name in the comment section. And your comments actually get sent to a separate folder for me, which helps me to see them above all the other comments. I see them first. So there's that as well. If not, if you're not into, into that, there's no pressure, and that's, that's totally fine. All I ask is that you leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. 
And of course, you know the rest. Subscribe. I keep saying, I keep saying that's the most important part. That's the most important. Part. Actually, subscribing. Is the most important. It's all important. To a YouTuber, it's all important. So, whatever you want to do. I'll see you tomorrow, though. Thanks for hanging out.